hey guys welcome back to my channel so before we get started on today's video before y'all ask me like sis why are you in your car um the air conditioning in my house is getting fixed tomorrow but it is way too hot in there i just got back from new york on sunday and it wasn't working when we got back and today is monday but it's way too hot in there for me to be filming and i'm actually taking these out today so i was like let me give y'all an update when they're in my hair so i can like show y'all what i'm talking about but that is why I am filming in my car and this is not the most awesome video I've ever filmed, but yeah, so let's just get right into it. going on my fourth week I believe if I'm doing my math right of having in these crochet passion twist um, and of course I will link below and I will include in the top corner um, the video of me installing these and what I thought of like initial impressions of this hair but I've had them in I've got tons of compliments but as you can see they're starting to get a little meh looking they don't look so hot um, anymore um, but basically just to jump right into it uh, kind of like I said originally in the video they don't stay super tight so I did end up redoing these um, just the, like in the front last week because I graduated on Friday so I wanted them to just look you know popping popping I wore them to Rolling Loud in Miami um, and it was great for that I could kind of just put them up like I have them up now didn't have to worry about it so having them in has been nice. They are extremely lightweight, um, but they do, just like the regular Passion Twist, get tangled on everything. Just because they're crochet, that does not mean anything at all. They get so, so, so crazy tangled. It's ridiculous. I actually, when I went through and redid some, I also ended up like going through and like cutting like the pieces that were tangled. So like this tangle happens all over, but like even worse than this. I don't know if I have any I can show you guys because I've noticed that they get tangled the most when I have them down. Um, but when I have them like in a ponytail, they don't get tangled that bad. But because of the nature of this crochet twist, the way it is pre-looped, when you wear them in a ponytail a lot, they get loose here. Now, obviously my hair is growing, so they are gonna get loose, but they get super loose when you wear them in a ponytail. And I have my hair in a ponytail basically like every single day of Rolling Loud. So it was that, and then I probably had an, I probably wore in a ponytail for several days, but um, keep that in mind. So this is after redoing them um about five days later so i only redid the ones in the front you can kind of see there's still some room in here um so they're not super neat anymore and this is my like first or second time wearing them in a ponytail since i redid the top ones um but the main thing about it is really really the tangling it's just like oh my god it gets tangled around all your jewelry like the thing I need to keep in mind is if I ever want to wear hair like this again, it hurts to get tangled around my jewelry. Like it is these are my ear is actually sore from how tangled this jewelry, I mean this hair gets. But yeah, it gets just in general, it just gets so 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 tangled. Um Yeah. And you just get these like fuzz balls all over and it's not the like kind of like oh I've been wearing this for a while pretty messy look that I thought it was gonna get it's just like in general it's just messy and tangled and it's really not all that fun the tangling was really my main thing but the other thing I'm gonna say too is I don't know if anybody else has noticed this but the hair has a very weird smell to it and I don't know what to describe it as it's not your typical like processed synthetic hair smell it's just like there's just a scent. I don't know. I notice it especially like when I've been touching the hair and I touch my hand, my like I smell my hands or put my hands near my nose. It's just like it smells like I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. It's not the most pleasant smell and I don't know what it is because I haven't done anything really to it. Now the hair did get like rained on. Like when I was at Rolling Loud, I got rained on. But the thing is, I smelled this on the hair before it actually got wet. So there's that. But it definitely got wet and it didn't feel like heavy and the twist didn't start to unravel or anything. So I would say you could probably get this wet. I wouldn't drench it in water. I wouldn't like kill it. I wouldn't go swimming. But like if it rains or something or somebody splashes you with some water or something like that, I would definitely say this would be fine. Now overall, I like this hair. 
I don't know if I would get it again. I feel like I might just be done with Passion Twist forever because the tangling is just honestly is way too much. I wish I had something to show you guys like of how tangled it really, really gets. But like, it's just way too much. This, but like times three and you would get it all over and all over different parts of the hair. The middle, the bottom, it would just get fuzzy. Like, all of it is just, uh Mm -mm. I don't think I would do them again. This style itself is more seamless because you can just do it as crochet. You don't have to take the time to twist every single section, um, especially if you do if you don't do individuals like I did and you just do cornrows. Definitely way more seamless. But overall, I don't think I would get this hair again. And not say specifically I wouldn't get this hair because this is a definitely an, I would say this is a good alternative if you want passion twist but you don't want to put in the time that passion twists take from scratch. I would say this is definitely a very good alternative. But I think overall I'm just done with passion twists they're cute I did them twice I got that itch scratch but I just uh, I feel like I'm done the tangles are too much the messiness is just too much and then this one started to shed like a lot like I noticed when I was in the hotel bathroom just touching it that I would just end up with so many little pieces like I mean you can see these pieces here like coming out of the hair but I mean like I don't know if I want to say it looked like breakage because it wasn't coming from my hair. It was coming from the passion twist hair, but it was just like little pieces just everywhere. And I don't know where it was coming from because I haven't cut it. Like I would trim off the knots and stuff, but I hadn't done that recently. So I was like a little confused about that. But overall, it's cute. I wish it was more secure. Um... But yeah, it's cute. You can get a lot of styles out of it. I do have a Passion Twist Styles video that I can share with you guys. I will link it down below and of course include it in the top corner. But otherwise, I don't know. Three weeks was good enough for me and that's what I did with my Passion Twist the last time. I can't go any longer with these. They get too tangled around everything. It's really, really frustrating. And not that I need them to be neat all the time, but the, it's like the way that they get messy is not cute. Like the way bow locks get messy is so cute. The way these get messy is not it. I don't like it at all. But I will leave all the information on these on these passion twists um how i did them where i got them i'll leave all that information down below of course if you guys have questions comments or concerns you can always reach out or comment down below and i can't wait to wash my hair and take these babies out and one thing i will say quickly before i end this video is taking them out is very very easy um really you just kind of pull your hair through and because they're not that tight at all on your scalp you can just loosen them up and take them right off so very very seamless but thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye